Hey everyone, this is Jenna Geary with EastBayTraining.com and I am here with a little ab circuit. Um, I am infamous for giving you guys uh, videos and stuff like that that you could do at your home because you, there's no excuse for you to not be able to work out. You could always put yourself through a workout at your house. So, I'm going to give you a little ab circuit. I have myself a little towel here for my son. Um, and I'm going to show you some pikes on there. I'm going to show you some reverse crunches. So basically, I'm going to go through the whole workout. This is something that you can do that will take you 15 minutes. Um, abs at the end of your workout. You can do this in the gym if you have a membership to the gym at the end of your workout. You can do it with a towel if they have the floors, maybe in one of the group X rooms. Or if you have wood in your house, you can do this in your house. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay down on the ground now and I'm going to grab onto the leg of my table and I'm going to do some reverse crunches. The big thing here is when you're doing some of the stabilization exercises, meaning I'm going to do a, a pike and I'm also going to do a side plank. Um, but with this one, you want to make sure I'm doing reverse crunches with leg lowering. So you want to make sure that when you do lower your legs that you don't arch your back. You want to brace yourself like as if somebody's about to punch you, but see, I can still talk to you and I'm punching myself. I kind of hurt. Don't look at me. So um, I'm going to lay back, hold on to the leg of this table, and I'm going to do 15 reps of everything. So we're going to go right here. Hold on. You don't want your back to arch. Legs are up straight. Keep them straight. Lift. And then slowly lower. Do not let the back arch. So as low as you can go without the back arching. Squeeze your glutes as you're getting to the bottom. So my butt is nice and tight and my abs. So glutes and abs are working together here to protect your lower back. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Abs nice and tight. Eight. Legs locked straight. Flex those quads right here. 10. Get as high as you can. 11. 12. 13. 14. 15. That was 15. Okay. So now I'm going to do a double crunch with rotation. So, demonstrate what I mean. You're going to start out arms above the head and legs out, and you're going to bring everything up. What you want to do is bring your upper body up first, and then your legs kind of catch. So, you're going to go here, and then rotate. Back down. Up. Two. Three. Four. Now, don't just rotate the arms. There's no abs there. Upper body. Now, if you need to, what you could do is, this is a nice little pointer that I usually give people, up, put your thumbs right here on the chest so that you rotate the whole upper body. So it's all obliques. Eight. floor and I'm going to do pikes and tucks. With pikes it's a more advanced version. I'll show you uh, tucks first and then I'll show you pikes. The thought process on the tucks is that you're doing a crunch and you're bringing your knees in and flexing and bringing your hips down towards your uh, ribs. With the pikes you want to lock your legs straight and you want to pull your body up like you're pulling your feet in so that you can keep your abs nice and tight, almost like you're doing a reverse crunch and you want to look up on, underneath you at your toes. So, I'm putting my feet on this little towel here, both of them. Now a tuck, make sure that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders and you're gonna tuck in. So crunch. You could do this single leg if you want to. More advanced because you're stabilizing on this side. And then, whoops, and now I'm going to show you that pike. So with the pike, pull the hips up, keep your body straight. Oh, look at how easy that towel is gliding. Five. Eleven. 
14. Ah, okay. Now, we're gonna do a side plank. I'm gonna put my hands on the towel. If you feel more comfortable, you can even go on a rug if you have one. So I'm gonna put my elbow on that towel, go in a side plank position. Your feet, there's some advanced versions to it or some modifications to it. So, side plank once again. I just said your wrist was underneath your shoulder, and now your elbow is underneath your shoulder. You can put, this is more advanced, putting one foot on top of the other. If you need to, you could put one foot in front of the other, and you put the top one in front. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go with more advanced. I'm gonna go here, hold my body. So from my armpit all the way down to my toes is completely straight. So if you were looking down at me, you couldn't see this hip, this shoulder, this hip, this knee. And what I'm gonna do is reach as far as I can. So I'm not just gonna bring my arm down, because this isn't an oblique exercise. This is reach as far as you can. Six, now, your shoulders are gonna probably be a little bit tired because you just did the pikes and the tucks. So if you want to, to give your abs, I mean your shoulders, some rest. Let me finish this. 13. If you want to, you can go reverse crunches with the leg lowering, then pikes on the shoulders, then double crunch, then side plank, so to give some shoulders some rest. Or you can go hardcore and go back to back with the shoulders. So I'm gonna go on the other side now. Move my little mat here. Put one foot on top of the other. Make sure here is here. I'm gonna do the obliques again. One. Four. Oh, my back's cracking. Eight. Okay, all right, so there's some ab exercises. Try them, you don't have to do 15. You could do 25. You can go around it more than once because you definitely should, this is just a demo. You don't have to watch me do it two, three, and four times, but you sure can. So, let me know what you think of the workout. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Let me know what you want to see next time. Um, so I hope you liked it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments. And look forward to more videos from us because we always have more stuff to bring to the table. Thanks, guys.